Welcome, everybody. In this video, I am going to discuss how I solve the hood flutter issue at highway speeds and readjusting my hood to create a better seal between the hood and the grill. Bottom line up front, I adjusted the hood latch mechanism in order to create a better seal for the hood. That's how I was able to finally get the hood to evenly sit on the hood on the grill and minimize or solve the hood flutter for me. I don't drive over 70 miles an hour very often, so I don't see you know hood flutter as much. But when I did, I did notice hood flutter, and so that's what caused me to find a solution. And the solution for me was to adjust the hood latch uh, mechanism here. Did I do the hood stop, um, you know, turning the hood stops uh, up a little bit? Yeah, I, I did that. That didn't work. Um, but I'll, I'll get to all that in this video and kind of walk you through my process. But like I said, the bottom out front is adjusting this. And I'll talk about which direction, how, and etc. All right. So now with that out of the way, I'm going to go into detail of why and how. So why did I adjust the hood latch to prevent or minimize hood flutter? Well, when I first got the truck, obviously um, with these new you know, trucks, whether it's Ford, uh, Ram, or GM, they all have aluminum hoods now. And aluminum is very light, and at highway speeds, particularly 70 miles an hour or higher, or if you're going to get a strong headwind, or if a big semi-truck just passes you by, your hood is going to flutter. That's just kind of the nature of these hoods, because they're so lightweight. However, you can minimize that or potentially solve it by doing a couple things. You could adjust the hood stops. That didn't work for me. Um, but ultimately why I came to the you know the decision to move the hood latch was because my hood if you can if you look carefully the hood does not sit evenly on the grill it doesn't seal evenly as in on the driver's side see it, it's very tight on the driver's side right here but as you move towards the passenger side it begins to kind of go up a little bit see that and the hood seal the weather stripping on the hood and the grill was not touching at all on this side like it wasn't touching like I could stick my fingers under here and there was no resistance and I could look up in here and I could see the hood stop I could look in here and see the hood stop you're not supposed to be able to do that so I had tremendous amount of hood flutter because there's a gap there's a huge gap here and a lot of wind was able to get in under the hood and just lift the hood as I drove at highway speeds and here's a better picture you can see it's tight here right as you move across you can see that there's this huge gap, right? Particularly right here, there was like the the weather stripping and the and the the top of the grill, well, there was no contact whatsoever. And then I kind of blew up the picture here. You can see here, yep, there's the gap right here. And we're talking the difference between here and here, as in the bottom edge of the hood and the very top of the grill was over half an inch difference. That's a lot, okay? So I tried many things, like I said, the hood lat, I mean, the hood stops, that didn't do anything. I thought maybe raising this would kind of even this out. No, it didn't do anything. I thought making it tighter on this side with the hood, you know, um, stops, that didn't do anything. Um, and I even, I'll go to this picture, I even adjusted the hood hinges, right, in the back. There's two bolts here and a bolt back here. I couldn't get to the bolt back there. It's like really tight. But I was able to unbolt these and push the hood down a quarter inch on the passenger side and I raised it a quarter inch on the driver's side thinking that would offset the you know the the the, the way the hood sat uh, as it was um, you know sitting on top of the grill that didn't do anything so I put the hinges I put everything back to the original markings where it was originally sitting um, and I eventually for some reason, I just decided to adjust the hood latch mechanism. There are two bolts, one here and one here. You're going to have to remove this plastic cover. You don't have to, but to make it easier to get to the bolts, just remove it. 
I think they're 10 millimeter bolts, if I remember correctly. This, I did this like a few months ago or a couple months ago. Yeah. Um, so what I found was one, I could push this hood latch down like another, like a, a small amount, like maybe like an, an eighth of an inch. And let me tell you something, an eighth of an inch makes a huge difference in the overall uh, scheme of things of how the hood will sit. Okay. You can also move it to the passenger side or move it to the driver's side, like maybe like half an inch or so. Like it's a lot. You can move it a lot, actually. Half an inch? No, but something like that. You can move it a lot. Let's just put it that way, okay? There's a lot of wiggle room here. Maybe like quarter inch or something, but still that's a lot. What I found was first I moved it to the passenger side thinking maybe it just needed more leverage to pull the hood down and something or another, whatever. And what I found was that it did seal the hood tighter, but not what I was looking for. So, and it was off a little bit more as well as in the terms of uh, how it's sealed on top of the grill. So I moved the hood latch to the driver's side. And what that did was pull the hood tighter on the passenger side, but then lifted the hood on the driver's side where it's sealed on the grill a little bit more. So you got to play with this to get it just right. It's not so much being exactly centered with the truck. It's being centered so that the grill, the hood and the grill will seal evenly. And the end result was this. So this is the after pictures of adjusting the hood latch. And as you can see on the driver's side and passenger side, it's even and it's tight. As a matter of fact, it's a lot tighter than here. You can see even the hood spacing here, right? At the top dead center, right? Is a little bit more than here, just a little bit. It's a lot tighter now, and it's evenly, uh, the seal is distributed, you know, evenly across the grill from passenger side to driver's side. It's even, and it sits, it's very tight. As a matter of fact, before, because there's a huge gap here, like I said, you put, you, I could put my hands on there without any resistance, and it was very easy to lift the hood. Like, there was like hardly any resistance to lifting this side of the hood. After adjusting the hood latch mechanism, the hood seals very tightly, and one, it's much more difficult to get your fingers underneath the hood to lift it. You can still do it if you force your fingers like you've seen in my other videos, but it's a lot difficult. Like it, it's, uh, the amount of resistance is a lot greater. And as you can see, there's some blow up shots. It's very tight and it sits evenly. Driver's side, see that, look at that. Passenger side, it's it seals evenly all the way across. And here are some before and after photos. So in case if, if you, some of you may not be able to see the difference, like I get it, some don't, some don't care. Um, but people like me, I have like tremendous OCD. I can notice the difference and it irritated me like crazy. As you can see here, before shot, see how much gap there is on the passenger side. Now look at the after shot. Here are the blow up photos. See the gap there? Now notice the gap after. You can see that it seals much better after adjusting the hood latch mechanism. Now, for me, this has solved the hood flutter issue. Is it 100% gone? I'm sure it's not because the hood is still made out of aluminum. Wind is still gonna be able to lift these corners because there's nothing holding the corners down except for like resistance against the hood and the grill and the pressure being applied here in the center. I wish that these manufacturers would put at least two hood latches, maybe one here, one here, or three, one here, here, and here. Because these hoods are made of aluminum and they are, they tend to flutter. So to create a better seal, more secured seal in the hood, I think two or three latches would be, uh, would be a good idea, but you know, whatever. Um, now, if I'm driving against a strong headwind, at the same time a semi-truck passes me and I happen to be doing, like, say, like 80 miles an hour, I will most likely still see hood flutter because that's just a lot of forces being applied against this aluminum hood. But for me, my normal driving, you know, at highway speeds for me, 70 miles an hour, sometimes 72, I don't see any hood flutter anymore. Like it's gone, completely gone. As before, like this side of the hood was would flutter like crazy, like paper in the wind, okay? 
it drove me bonkers. Um, but now it doesn't do that. And it's the, the resistance between the hood and the top of the grill is a lot greater. So the forces being applied helps reduces the wind forces against it. Um, so yeah, so that's how I solve the hood flutter issue as well as readjusting my hood. The hinges back here did nothing. The hood stops did nothing. It was readjusting that hood latch. Um, but anyways, that's how I did it. If this helps, great. If it doesn't, you know, it's just, it's just my opinion, my video, and my results with my truck. Everyone's different. Every truck is different. How you go about it is how you go about it. Or if you don't care, you don't care. So there you go.